Okay, so let's look for the check again at uh, 4380. Here's what we have. We had this liquidity. We traded below it. We have the liquidity showing up again. This was the most accepted price on Friday, and the auction above it was incomplete. It just looked to me like it got cut off, you know, end of the day. And typically, uh, when you have that kind of buying and we close like that, we anticipate continuation. However, based on the geopolitical situation, I could, you know, we have to be prepared for anything, of course. And that, of course, with trading, you always have to be prepared. That's why having good risk management is uh, uh, plan is really important. So we want to watch here now because we have a couple of pieces. We have this liquidity. We have the naked volume point of control. We currently have high volume right in this area, as you can see from this little bump right here. So that creates kind of an over over under for us. Uh, these are not trade recommendations. Uh, however, we could potentially come and rotate lower from here. How far down, nobody knows. We might come back here. We might not come back anywhere. It's very hard to say. These are not trade recommendations. We want to look at structure, and we're going to look at where we are. The naked volume point of control is an artifact that was left behind from Friday. It was the most accepted price. So it's v natural for the market to often come back and check that. In other words, was it too high yesterday, uh, Friday? Uh, was it too low? So now uh, we've checked it. We took out stops at yesterday's high, Friday's high, and now the question becomes, can we move higher after this event, or are we going to rotate in here? See, we had sellers here. You know, so now we have to just see. This is really an interesting level right here to observe, and these are not trade recommendations. So let's take a look, see if we can see inside this. So this is your area right here, this volume, right in here. You have the naked volume point in control. We have this consolidation. Okay, so we're looking for the behavior. Let's look at the order book. You can see the book pressing down and these guys pulling. Okay. Let's see if we can see anything else in here. Trend is up, so anything here, any kind of counter rotation is a counter rotation, which means it may just be picking off these stops under here. You know, so we have to see. So this is an important level. And what happens in here is important. Trend is up. So in my world, there are no short trades for me because I want to be aligned with the intermediate time frame, which is the long. But right here is important to see what happens. Because now remember, we have a target above, and we have this level right here. When the market returns to an important level, so we checked it from below the first time we came below it now we're back up checking it again so this this area is important for potential continuation or counter rotation let's see the, and again these are not trade recommendations here's the alignment here 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 okay everybody tracking with me So you might want to grab a, a, a screenshot of this. Uh, in fact, if you're new here, grab a pen and a piece of paper because uh, these are things, <clears throat> phenomena, market-based phenomena, that you may want to uh, grab a screenshot of, write the time down. Uh, and the, the key elements are this liquidity, this volume, this liquidity back in the book, and this, the naked, it was a naked volume point of control from Friday, which was the most accepted price. We went above it, we went below it, we're checking it from below again. And the market may not need at this time to go higher. The trend is up, so anything we get off of this would be a counter rotation initially. 
After that, no idea. But the trend is up. So this is really looking... A way I think about these is if I had gotten into this, which it was not on my mind to do, uh, let me just look over here. This would be a target potentially. And then your next level up would be taking out uh, this high. So there's got it's got a bit of you know some obstacles to get through, and then going up to 4,400. So that's the outside potential. So here's the obstacle. So if you had gotten long, price check. This is important to take your scale uh, and manage your trade off of here. Do you guys understand why we're having this behavior here? Can you see the alignment with the uh, items I just articulated? Here, 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 here. That's a lot of elements, don't you think? Does this make sense? If it doesn't make sense, ask. I mean, why are we seeing this behavior here? Considering that we, I pointed it out before it happened. Is that, is that something that you guys can use? In other words, does the thinking, the process, is there logic in this process? Okay, here's what we have. This was important area. It was this was the primary target in this scenario, the naked volume point of control. Okay. We had yesterday's high, which is also a viable target when you're this close, and we took it out. Okay. Now, I'm not someone who picks a high of the day. Not so skilled at that. But let's look what happens. So this was important. This is important. This is alignment. This liquidity. Now, this comes down. There's really nothing I can you know, tell about it. I see this. It's 70. We know 70 was important on the way up. You guys remember 70? Over here. I keep track of these because this is significant. It's not the same as this other stuff in here. This was significant and that is significant. I mark them. So I would put a, you know, a mark over here and I mark them. Now the fact we go through it, now I'm looking at it as resistance. We get through it. So what's the next level up? Notice the liquidity comes back in around here. But this, so what's on top? This is the important item right here. Because this is a price check. The market is asking, and in an auction, let's think in auction theory. We were lower, the market went up and checked the most traded price. We had Friday's high. The market, assuming there's shorts in here, there's going to be stops up in here. And there you see them just because it's over the high. People get short, they put their stop over the previous high, depending on their time frame. If we don't get buyers above there, then there's a potential to counter-rotate. Retail trader behavior. Remember, if you're long, what are you feeling when you see, you take out the high, and you're looking for something higher, and then it doesn't do it. Now you look here, This back at this liquidity. We break below, this was support. I see these as support. Breakthrough, pullback, that's the test extension. Breakthrough, pullback, resistance. See, now this is not a brick wall, but this is sort of, you know. So now we're below it. So what's the pr propensity? Now we take this out, and I'm going, well, you know, I don't know where it's going. Of course we don't know. But we get the retracement. Okay, 
And as I was discussing over in here, what did we have? See, this is kind of how you put pieces together. We have this. We have this volume. And there was chop, chop, chop. This volume, and let me see if I can show it to you over here. That's this volume right here. So this is an auction right here. Right here. Chop, chop, chop. We go up, we come down, chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. This chop, chop is creating volume. And what it is is basically, other than the extreme to the outside, it's going, are we going to go back up or are we going to go down? Are we going to go up or are we going to go down? And it forms this high volume node right at the naked volume point, at the former naked volume point in control. This is a high volume area. And you can see it over here also. Okay, that's representing this volume in this area. That's what that high volume node is. Is everybody with me so far? Just want to make sure we're aligned before I go on. Okay, great. That's good for you. Okay. Uh, anybody else have a question on how these this level is being created and why it's significant? Okay, let's move on. So we identify the level. Now, what happens? Now at this point, we come back to where? 70. Everybody see that level? Okay. And the liquidity comes back in. That's something I look for. Now, all it is is these are reference points. You know, this is something like, okay, so now what? Well, look what happens at this level. We get some buyers, okay? But they don't get too far. Now, we don't know that. This is the thing about trading. You know you don't know. So you got to start out with what you know. And the thing is, you know you don't know. So this structure which represents this volume over here is resistance, this here. So the bottom of this, well, we don't quite get there. We get close, no cigar. Within what, about a point, three quarters of a point. This is your obstacle. That's what this represents right here, obstacle, obstacle. So if you are taking along here, and this is not a trade recommendation, um, here's, here is the way you work this. You guys interested in how you work this? Yeah. Now, write this on your sheet if you've never heard this before. Retail trader behavior. Think like a retail trader, don't act like one. So if we're taking this against this, if that's something that you work with, and it's not a trade recommendation, we're just looking at behavior, where is the closest swing where retail traders will have their stops? It's right here. Sorry. So something you might think about for a trade plan is where do you scale? Well, you know you're not going to get in there. You're probably getting in somewhere over here, right? So stops would be, first layer of stops for those who are short would be this swing, this little swing. And I'm sure some of them would be targeting this. So if you're they're targeting, you see the absorption here. Okay, we get some iceberg buying here. Let me just take a look and see what it is. You know, around 145, 150 icebergs, nothing monumental, but that was what that liquidity was sitting there. And there's our bounce. So this would be the scale because you want to go into those stops and then you'd be going for next target up, which would be at 80 and it wouldn't get there and you'd get taken out but you had your scale so you'd be risk neutral if that's part of your trade plan does that make sense so now it breaks under there okay now what well we still have this high volume area above us yeah. 
We know this is an important level. We already took out yesterday's high, and we still have a target up above us. So that much we know. So what do we have? Well, now we're taking out these stops at this swing, and we have the potential even to go higher. But this is a potential obstacle. Now remember where we broke from. I'm just going to go back over. It was here, this liquidity here. Broke it, checked it, went higher. Fell under it, checked it, went lower. So this level, this 80, is important. And we have alignment. So now we're all caught up, okay? And we're saying this is an important area and a potential area for reversal. Correct? And here it is. So that, in my mind, is how you kind of put pieces together. So if you had gotten along, this is your obstacle. And at least it would be a, a scale or an all-out or, you know, a primary obstacle. And then it's what happens after that. Do we make a new high? Do we get up to 4,400? You know, but this is the primary item right here. And then the sellers take over. Let's see if we can look inside here and see anything. Any questions on why this might have been an important area? And why I was saying look for the sell? You know, in trading, a lot of it's just kind of uh, being like a chess player. You know, it's uh, thinking about uh, not only the behavior that took place at a location, but why is it important and what might happen. Because we don't know what will happen, but what might happen. Now, this is very two-sided, you know, uh, and there's not you know, a significant amount of structure right here. Buyer, no buyer into the liquidity. It's very subtle. Let's see what else we can see. Again, into the liquidity, there's really nothing going on in this liquidity. They're not lifting. So you can see it. But here, let me just scrunch this a little more. This is its own little consolidation. You see it? And there's the volume that's being created in this structure right here. When we break below the volume, that becomes your over under. So this. So let's see what it looks like. It really doesn't give you any pullback. So you would have to initiate really on the break of the structure. It's kind of a breakout. So, you know, you'd be, you know, your risk would be up above here. That, and if it fits your uh, trade plan and your risk reward ratio, then of course it's viable. And uh, going down, when we break down, where are all the retail trader stops? Isn't it the IB high? Let's go take a look what's going on here. So this would be from here to the I, well to the VWAP, and then the IB. After that, let me just take a look and see what else we've got here. We have the VPOC below. These are not trade recommendations. We get through the IB, then you're going to the uh, VPOC potentially 4340 ish. Remember, the IB is important uh, for a lot of reasons. The one, re the thing I like about is the statistics around it. Also, retail trader behavior. You, we can anticipate stops at the IB and retail and buyers at the IB, and a counter rotation. If we get through it, uh, the next stop uh, is forty-three forty. 